Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be discussing maintenance daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. The first thing that we're going to discuss is daily maintenance. Daily maintenance consists of feeding your fish and checking the quality of your water. The first thing that I like to do is I like to go ahead and remove our, our bird net and remove our duck feed net, dumping it out if you'd like to feed your fish. And simply taking a look at the water, all the joints, all the bulkheads, making sure that I don't see any leaks or water level changes. I'm not seeing any clarity changes, and I'm not smelling any foul or different odors than I normally would. And obviously daily you're going to want to make sure that nothing showed up overnight and put anything out of place. So your bird nets are in place, your duckweed nets are in place, uh, your intakes are intact. If you're running water bridges, make sure that the covers are over the water bridges so you don't have fish traveling from tank to tank. One last part of daily maintenance is going around to each and every one of your intakes inside of your tank, like your sand filter intake and your main pump intake and making sure that it's not covered up with debris and that it's flowing nicely and that there's no fish or anything else caught up in it. What we're going to discuss next is weekly maintenance. Weekly maintenance consists of going around to each of your ball valves, especially on the towers, and giving them a full turn backwards and forwards to knock out any debris that's catching up in your system. The next thing that you're obviously going to want to do is go around and harvest and prune and plant your plants. So what I would recommend is having at least six towers on your system and starting them all one week apart. So on a Monday you plant, the next Monday you plant, that way at the end of the six week period you have one that's already ready to harvest. And then you harvest that one and you replant that same day and you have a constant cycle of fresh food that's ready for you weekly. The next thing that you're going to want to do in weekly maintenance is backwash your sand filter, which I've already de demonstrated in my insect sand filter video. And after backwash, you're obviously going to want to go to your rain barrel and add water as necessary. When you are done using these duckweed nets for its grow out cycle and you got all this green algae on there, what I like to do is I like to just hit them with the hose and put them up against the fence where they get a lot of sun and in a couple days they're going to be bleach white again. Here's one that's been sitting out for a couple days so I just rotate them every week or so. And we'll put that new one back in there. Put some fresh duckweed in there to start growing. About once a week, I also like to go onto my towers and knock off all the string algae, especially into my tilapia tanks, into the water, because it's free food for them and they love to eat it. When talking about pruning, don't forget the importance of keeping up with it, because in this system, things tend to grow very fast, and something like tomatoes are really going to get out of your control if you lose it for a week. And then you're going to be welcoming things like rats and other pests that are going to come in and attack your system. So try and keep that at bay. What I also like to do for my tomatoes is I like to grow a lot of mint. And since rats and other pests don't like the smell of mint, I like to chop it up finely and kind of sprinkle it all inside of my, my tomato plants to keep them away. Moving on to monthly maintenance, it consists of two things. One is testing the quality of your water using a freshwater test kit like this. What you do is you simply fill up these little vials with your pond water and you It'll tell you on each bottle how many drops to add per vial and then it'll change color and you compare that color to this color chart on the back. And what I like to do is I like to just write it down month by month so that I can have a clear understanding of any changes seasonally with my water quality. The second part of that is going to be fertilizing, which I've already gone over in a previous video. It consists of adding soluble seaweed powder and chelated iron. 
The last thing that I want to go over is yearly maintenance. It consists of two things. The first being cleaning out your biofilter by simply cutting off the flow to your towers, opening the flow to your biofilter completely, and then draining off the water into your garden or wherever else until it runs semi-clear. And then you cut it back off and you open back up your towers and you'll be okay. The second thing for your early maintenance is going to be taking control of your fish population. Throughout the year they're going to start breeding in your tanks and you're going to have a whole set of new fresh young fish to grow up. So what you're going to want to do is go around and start culling or selling or whatever else you plan to do with your fish at this time. Most fish are going to have a grow out period of about nine months. So about a year is when I like to do it myself. Also some quick troubleshooting tips. Like if your water's low, it's going to be a couple different things. It could be that you have a leak somewhere in your system. It could be that your water bridges don't have sufficient vacuum and you need to restart them. Or it could mean that an intake is being clogged by either debris, leaves, or even a dead fish. So you gotta keep on top of that and make sure you check those. Also, if you see dead fish in the water, that could mean a couple different things. That could be mean that they got attacked by a predator, such as birds or otters or anything like that that you may have in your area. It could mean that they got caught up in an intake and died that way. It could mean that you have nitrite spike, or it could mean that you have a fish disease or too low of an oxygen level. So you always gotta make sure that you check the water quality and make sure that you have oxygenated water for your fish. If you do end up with water quality issues or you find that fish are dying and you're needing to restart your system, what you're going to wanna do is a water change and you're going to drain out as much water as possible through your Intex sand filter into your backwash tank and fill it up with the same amount of water using your rain barrel. Obviously after exchanging your water you're going to want to make sure that your nutrition levels and your iron levels are put back to where they were. So you're going to have to add more fertilizers. So it's just a few simple steps that you got to take daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. But if you adhere to that schedule you're going to be okay and you shouldn't run into any problems really unless there's something going on in your area like pests or disease or something seasonal that is out of your control. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to watch the next one where I'm going to be going over the top four fish that I like to use in my aquaponics setups. Thanks for watching. Pick up.